Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're talking about the update and the recoil all happening very soon for Rust Console Edition for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, Next Generations, and everything in between. And of course, I'm Jade Monkey. So yes, uh, we're going over the patch notes here, some of the recoil adjustments, although we will have a separate video that actually walks through a lot of those changes in-game on Rust Console Edition because there's there's some things to note here, but we're going to cover some of those changes here. Uh, but please note that all of this is currently active on Rust Console Edition public testing branch, but it hits main branch February 29th, 2024. So it's a good place to do it. Just remember, if you're looking for that, it is a separate download. You just have to search Rust Console Edition in either the PSN store or the Microsoft store, and you should be good to go. Real quick, before we totally jump in, if you're looking for a good server, a good custom server with no admin abuse, we stay on top of the cheaters, we run events, we also live stream from there. Uh, might I suggest the Jade Monkey 2X Solo Duo Trio servers, all BP is unlocked. If you're trying to find us, just search Jade. Then go to filters and sort by fullest servers first. You should see us either at the top or pretty close to the top. So it's an easy way to find it. Okay, deep breath. All right, so we're going to go over the patch notes here. Again, we're going to cover some of those recoil changes, but we'll have a more in-depth breakdown of those recoil changes because I know it's on everybody's mind. I get it. Okay, deep breath. Ah. I don't know if I said this earlier, but this is most likely going to be the patch that we do get on the 29th of February. So... Uh, keep that in mind. Okay, so target practice got an adjustment. Players now spawn with new weapons and attachments. It's a great place to try all the new stuff out, the combinations, to see some of that recoil. And I know it's going to be hard to get in there because the wait times are so crazy. Uh, also in target practice, we have minor edits to world generation and player inventories. And also, one more thing in target practice, we have a new map type called Launch Site Island. So yes, the Launch Site Monument will be sitting in the middle. Kind of wild. And just remember, it has accelerated decay, so if you try to place down bags or buildings, they'll decay in like 15 minutes or less or something. It's pretty wild, so you really can't build there, which is kind of a shame. Builder's Paradise. Uh, players now spawn with the hose and wire tool, and also under Builder's Paradise, we have multiple griefing items have been banned. That's great. Uh, additional thing in Builder's Paradise, we have a new map type called Super Flat. Great. Here's the big change, because I know if you were playing PTB early, this was kind of an issue. Recoil pattern for the handmade LMG has been modified. We'll go more over that here in a second. Uh, standing on top of a wounded player state no longer pushes floors, uh, pushes the player, excuse me, through floors or the train or monument. And this one's nice. We actually had this happen on stream. Players no longer get stuck in minecarts. Fantastic. And over to this next piece here, we have the hunting bow and compound bow now have crosshairs. Can confirm that. Getting out of water onto objects is now easier. That's well in line with what's going to be happening here in like April-ish to May because we know we're most likely going to get underwater labs and then, uh, what is it, tugboats and also submarines. So it's nice they did a nice little polish there. Uh, the preview on status bars now updates as players' health, thirst, hunger changes. First person legs, that's right, we can now see our legs like we can on PC. Look at those stinky feet. Uh, first person legs no longer stutter when crouch jumping. Crosshair reticle no longer remains visible while aiming down sights with weapons. Oop, I thought I had a burp there. Uh, players are now able to place water pump in rivers in the snow biome. Beautiful. Spray can effects uh, now consistent with the Steam version. Yes, we do have access to the spray can. We can't do stuff like this, though. I don't even think we have decal access, but this is to like change skins on doors and stuff, which is pretty cool. So we can do stuff like that. But we won't be able to do that until um, the full version because we all know PTB doesn't currently have skins support anyways. Onward. Um, players no longer open the spray can radio menu on unauthorized deployable items. Blood decals no longer appear on weapons when shot by another player. Scientists' laser sights no longer go through terrain, airfield, runway, and outpost train tracks are no longer above ground. Interesting. I hope that we do see something like underground tunnels, like the train system. That would be magnificent. The uh, added the ability to toggle personal footstep sounds and audio options so you're not freaking yourself out. Exiting inventory crafting panel no longer causes a blurry screen. I know that kind of makes me want to rub my eyes every time I see it. Improved readability for traditional Chinese and English on map screens. HUD visibility now turns off all the options regardless of their original settings. 
overhead team UI has been resized, and this is a big one too, because we noticed this like right away. Overhead team UI icon visible visibility range has been greatly increased. I think they had it super low before by accident, so it is no longer as it like five feet in front of you. Like it's actually way out there, which is very useful because I can't tell you how many times I've almost popped my teammates because of that. So that's that's awesome. Thumbs up. Soft lock no longer occurs when UI when a player dies while viewing recently created videos on certain consoles. Uh, moving a split item stack that cannot be placed in storage container will no, will no longer leave behind a phantom stack. It kind of puts you in like a, a weird state. It actually didn't duplicate. Uh, players now equipped uh, now equip attachments via adjust attachments UI. Boeing. Unwanted messages no longer appear when swapping out attachments. Players can navigate resource storage when splitting an item in the tool cupboard using the right stick. By the way, the tool cupboard, I don't know if we covered this last time. Um, we do have tool slots now. Pretty nice. See this at the top? We can put all of these in our tool cupboard now. Beautiful. Beautiful. You saw the super stacks in there? It's big. Yeah, tons of little stuff. Um, you'll notice those reticles too. We'll go over that here in a second. Um, do we have all this? Okay, um, crosshair, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Crosshair hit HUD now uh, can now be individually changed. Hello. Inventory indicator count and inventory item count now update when certain actions are performed. Resource number now updates when building. Radiation damage now shows HUD indicator. Invitation list is now cleared when joining a team. Uh, long player names no longer overlap the team HUD. Beautiful. We have like a whole new team HUD UI, which is great. Uh, workbench radial menu can now be accessed. Various visual uh, fixes respawning after getting killed, while monument no longer causes sleeping players' cameras to jitter. Cameras no longer clip through players' bodies when seated in boats and made improvements to performance. Beautiful. And I, I, I would imagine there'll be some other like subtle changes, but for the most part, what we're playing on PTB now is what we're going to have, uh, I think, long term. Okay, so let's go over some of these changes here. So the biggest change with the handmade LMG has been before, like, uh, and so we're talking about on the console side. Before it was more of like an LR situation. Now it's more um, like this. So let me show you what it looks like here on PC. Let me just stand close here so this will be a bit easier to see. I know we've done this before, but this will help for reference. This is a brand spanking new HMLG. Let me just reload, we'll sidestep. What's happening here is you have a pattern that goes up to the left, but there's also some randomized elements that happen while you're doing that. The implications to this means that people using scripts will have a hard time where they'll become entirely useless because of those randomized elements. Um, the kick kind of feels like this when you're firing. The best way to probably do it is kind of to walk the trigger. But um, the handmade and the other new weapons are the ones that I can see um, some evidence of randomize inside of the pattern. Um, most noticeably here with the um, handmade. Um, I see a little bit with the prototype and I see some, well, the M4 is kind of a spray and pray, but um, I guess the, <laughs> the, um, the recoil isn't as crazy in that one, but, or as important. But for the, these weapons like the prototype and definitely the handmade, uh, they've gotten more close to, uh, closer to the PC version, obviously not identical, but it looks like we have those randomized elements, making this a great weapon to use for legit players. By the way, if you're trying to curtail this weapon, the best way to do it is to put a break on the end. Is that right? Is it a break? Is that what it's called? Yeah, muzzle break. It'll help um, some of that travel that happens with the nozzle as you're firing. So if you're kind of just doing like a much easier to maintain. Again, I'm using a mouse. There's a big difference here. So those are the major changes to the handmade LMG. Let me see. We've got uh, the prototype here and then the M4 so you can kind of see what this looks like for us. Oh, you know what? Let me do this because people are asking about this too. Again, I have a recoil breakdown that's going to be coming out. So I don't know which one comes first, this one or that one, but this will kind of help you with some of that. So let me reload this and kind of take a kneel here by the so you notice too, like you see my reticle's wide and it kind of tightens up. So yes, kneeling does make a difference. And like, let me do another one like this. So you can see the pattern, but like the individual detail of that pattern is definitely randomized, which is beautiful. So uh, there does appear to be evidence that that is happening for us on the console side. So 
yes, we have recoil changes, but we also have old recoil with like the, um, here's a good example. Let me just get a standard, um, what do you call it? Let me just get a standard uh, AK. So I'm sure if you're on your version right now, you'll see that we still have the S pattern, but here on the PC, it goes completely up to the right, which I know we've shown this before, but this is worth mentioning, ready? So we don't have that. We have the S pattern still. So we've got a good mix of old recoil and new recoil, uh, probably because these weapons didn't exist in the old recoil system. So that's one of the biggest things you need to be looking out for uh, when you're out there playing this new update. So again, I'd strongly recommend you get out there in the PTB and give it a shot. Again, you can download that through the Microsoft Store or the PSN Store. Just search Rust Console Edition uh, Public Testing Branch if you've got the uh, available uh, access to it, you should be able to download it for nothing. Uh, and if you don't have that and you had the base version, just remember you can always upgrade it for like, what is it, like seven bucks or something? It's like super cheap. Plus you get cool skins and some extra coins. So if you really wanted to, it's actually probably the better buy to go base and then do the upgrade because you get more stuff with it. And honestly, I think that black set skin is really, really sweet uh, and very, very functional. So all right, so on the lookout for this bad boy, it's coming soon. So if you want to know how we can stop online raids in the future, um, go ahead and check out this video. should already be up on the end screen. I kind of stroked out there for a second. I was like, where am I? What am I doing? And uh, be sure to tune in on the live streams. We'll be over on the custom server, but also playing the new updates. So hopefully we'll see you there. And uh, love you. Bye. Oops, oops.